Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, in the last episode, we found out that our dad has now taken our place with the date with Lady Gong. Um, so we now need to find out a way of doing something. Um, so I'm assuming we can do something in his house and mess something up. That's the lint trap. Evidence of a date. Um, radio What's equipment. this? I need a radio. Why would the old fart need a radio? Unless... Whoa! I don't believe it! First he steals my date, and then my brilliant idea with the prompter! That miserable old dirtbag! Right, if I have a memo, I can give it to the poet. Crane! Crane! What is it? I found something! One last... No! Little! Don't say it! <laughs> Memo! I need a... Radio! Are you dictating these memos to him? Don't change the subject, just give me the radio! Why do you have to do this anyway? I won't say. Do I have to get a memo that says I need secrets? Oh, stock market news. Oh, come on, Crane. Okay, so we got the radio. <laughs> He's got a prompter then. I, can I use it on myself? Hello? Dad? Rufus, is that you? Get off the line now! I'm waiting for a radio message from my bro- Just get off the line, okay? You're bothering me, just like you always did. Can I do that next to him? Hello? Dad? Rufus, is that you? Get off the line now! I'm waiting for a radio message from my bro- Just get off the line, okay? You're bothering me, just like you always did. Can I give it to the person who's got the worst hey. romance? You know about poetry, right? Sure thing. One of my platypus poems even made it to page three of the Platypus Daily. I see I've come to the right place. Here. Watch this. Radio? Oh yeah, you'll need it. It's uh, a romantic matter. Platypus romance or human romance? Shh, it's starting. I have prepared something very special for you. The icing on the cake. A poem in your honor. Okay, here we go. The poem. Pardon me? <clears throat> the poem. <clears throat> go ahead. That was your cue. Oh, oh, I've got just the thing. Give it your all. You are cuter than a batty horse. You look just like a platypus? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not gonna go well. <laughs> ah, yuck. What? Hey! What the? Wait! You were right, Rufus. Seagull is an idiot. It was very noble of you to try and warn me about him. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I owe you an apology, Rufus. Your foster father may act all sophisticated, but in reality, he is nothing but a subilluminated cerebral pygmy. Yeah, just without the stripes. Now all I have to do is persuade your last alter ego. To tell you the truth, I liked you right from the start. You are a lot like Cletus, but you have a real backbone, and you aren't such a sissy. That's true. Oh, but don't tell him I said that. I had better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it? Okay, so I need to, to persuade her baby girl now. Oopsie, I must have nodded off for a moment. No problem. As long as you didn't have any direct skin contact with the bar, that is. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, so I need to go talk to her. Oh, it's you! How nice! 
face. Okay. Can't you remember anything? Well, yes, you are... Rufus. Oh, this is it. My head feels as if a burning sword... Uh, you obviously can't remember anything at all. That makes it even more important. Oh, you're, you're such a... <laughs> sure. So, are you coming? There's no time to lose. We need to prevent the Organon from blowing up Deponia. Wait, wait. Did I hear that right? You're planning to stop the Organon? Don't tell me you're with those resistance fruitcakes. Resistance? What are you talking about? What do you think? Janosh and his people, who else? Janosh? I told him a thousand times that I won't have any conspiratorial meetings in my bar. First, they're all death to the Organon. And then I end up having to scrape peanut chips out of the jukebox. Did you hear that, Rufus? A real resistance movement. I heard it. How terribly exciting. But the really important thing is that we're both headed to dock now. We're going to fix your brain and... We can't do that now. We need to join the resistance. Uh, yes. Y what? Okay, so I need to... Um... Janosh, Janosh. What's up with that Janosh? That's what I would like to know. No, that was a rhetorical question. Janosh is the leader of the resistance. You keep raving about him. Really? He must be quite a daredevil. Oh, good grief. Wait here. Yay! There's Garlif, there's Nod, Dwarf, Gulliver. So I need to get into the resistance with him, I need to beat him in. Uh, thing. So I need tournament hands. That means I need to get past here. That means I need to sneak past something. Is there something in the gadget shop I can use? I got half juice. Uh, ooh, empty gravity sucks. Here goes nothing. Awesome. Uh, indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness. Uh, back down from the ceiling. Yeah, let's do that. What else we got? Banana straightener? Why the hell would you want a banana straightener? The golden dragon of invisibility. I am very sorry, sir, but the golden dragon of invisibility is not a floor model. I didn't even touch it. I just wanted to, to stretch my fingers and... Uh... Ahem. All right, all right. Have I got it? No. The Am I sunglasses? Used Looks like normal sunglasses, just that the lens is... Cool. Can I give them to him? An excellent choice, sir. Ha! Huh. Indestructible? No way. It's broken. And I'm sure you don't have to pay for samples that break when you try them on. Or, uh, or what? Will you be paying by cash or organ donation? Oh, I see. They aren't broken after all. <laughs> My mistake. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, a clue would be just the ticket. An excellent choice, sir. Please do not forget to return the merchandise to its proper place before leaving the store. Can I add them together? Excuse me, but I would like to point out to you that the modification, recalibration, or tuning of the sample items is prohibited. Okay. Um... I am very We accept all. Uh, would it have to be my own organs? That is what it says in the. Ah, darn it. Okay. Uh, what about raising? I am very. We accept. Uh, that is what. Ah. Shredder. So is there something I can put in the shredder? I would really like to try out this shredder, but not with my own stuff. Oh, what a pity. But that's the law. What if I put these I in? am very sorry. The destruction of sample I... I'm not doing that. Because according to the label, these sunglasses are indestructible. That is correct. Well then. So you can't break them. A 
an excellent ha. In distress, it's broken, and I'm sure you don't have to pay for it. Will you be? Oh, I s my mistake. Ah, oh, a clue would be j Excuse, but I would. Oh, yeah? And did you not read the s- Nah, I thought I'd wait until the audiobook is out. <laughs> um, put this device only straightens bananas, which is already useful enough. What about a lot of matches? I don't need any more equipment for that. All I need is my index finger and my infallible system. What is a lotto match? What does that do? Playing the lottery has no all you need. Huh, the lotto math doesn't seem to understand my system. The top prize is some fully functional torpedo. Oh, just what I've always wanted. Um, I'm assuming that there is something in here, because, well, I kind of have that now. One. Juicer hat. Do I put that on the shredder? I am very that is rats. Then why is the shredder? Can you put it in the banana straightener? This device, which is already Can you put that there? No, it's already at least. Can you put that there? No, it's at least. I'm confused on what to be doing right now. Alright, if they're really broke, can I give them to him? An excellent ah. In destruct it's broke, and I'm sure you don't have to pay. Will you be? Oh, my ma ah, oh, a You are how many? Um. I'll just please. I am very but the floor. I have no idea. Uh -huh. All right. All okay, so I'm assuming, yeah, I've returned everything back. Um. Okay, so it must be something more to do with the resistance then. So let's go talk. I swear I spoke to Garlef and everything. May I bother you? And you can. <laughs> Your part. Who said that? That's top secret. I'm sorry, didn't know that. And the others don't seem to be clear on the concept either. Please tell them. We can't have everyone brought. Okay, may, may I join you? Impossible. Could be an organon spy. But how are you going to fight the organon if you don't recruit new members? <laughs> Through passive resistance. Meaning you do nothing? But we do. We constantly hatch new plans about how we can resist even more passively. <laughs> Sometimes we even don't say a bad word about the organon for weeks. That's how passive we are. Wow. The prime controller is going to blow a fuse when he finds out. Please let me join you. I want to impress a woman. You think that would work? Of course. Women go for courageous men. Men who have the courage to use a filthy bathroom in a pub. Yeah, I, I was I was thinking of the kind of courage you need to join a good cause. Hey, but I'm already doing that. Here, take this bathroom key to Gulliver. I no longer need it. I'll be okay. off then. Stay around. So I've got the key. Good. Uh, bathroom key. Good. I, I swear I had to beat him in, in thingy for that though. That must have changed. I don't know how that changed. Did it just get colder in here? Ah! What is that? Oh! Ah! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Anything but that! Take it away! Take it away! Ah! Not this agony! Ah! <laughs> Got a piece of paper there. Everything okay, kid? Uh, I've been in worse tavern bathrooms. It's just, uh, I heard these noises and... Let's just say the toilet paper could be softer. You don't have to play the tough guy for me, kid. I've been in there before, and I know the toilet paper. I feel your pain. By the way, you got a piece stuck to your foot, and you should remove it before someone sees. They would, uh, they wouldn't understand. Okay, so I've got a shred of toilet paper now. Um, Egg. Mm. I would really don't be re could you? Gals, okay. Oh, so what? that's about the reckless thing and to join them. Um, weapon shop wouldn't be here, do I? It's docks. I don't need to be outside dock either. Marketplace. There we go. I don't 
don't know. Um, can I give the pharmacist some lint? Will you give me something in return? I'd like to return. May I touch? No, that isn't from me. Even if it obviously does contain a lot of psychoactive substances. Okay. Sugar? Can I interest you? May I touch? What's this? Do you drag this junk around with you all the time? Uh, of course not. My assistant does that. Hello. Uh, let's try Is to this a, a prescription? May I touch? At least it seems to be written in Braille, although the writing is a little smeared, but it isn't a prescription. Darn, I was so sure this time. Wait a minute, this is one of my coupons. Where did you find it? <laughs> it was under his nose the whole time. With this, you get a free sample of my latest shipment, Cucumis Agneto, the Cucumber of Revelation. It's so new that there aren't any studies on medium or long-term after effects. Cool. Okay. The cucumber. Hey, I. You should never trust a blind man, or he'll fob the worst. I have absolutely no clue what to do now. Um. Yeah. I remember him talking about the music. You Wait a minute. Uh, boo -boo -boo that long. I would like that's good. That's very whoa, whoa. I would like a plus five healing potion. Sorry, but I have some antidote. Nah, never. I'll save my money. Uh, no. You get what? I remember him saying something later. about the music. That's got me thinking. Dark Alley. Because every time he walks in here, he says, da, 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 da. <laughs> what about. I know these games are weird like this. Some of them do do this. That isn't the secret knock. Oh, darn it. An out-of-the-way door in a dark alley. I wonder where it leads. I should have the lock pick. Uh, oh, a clue would be just the ticket. But how do I get the juice out of this thing? Oh, juice. Okay, maybe it wasn't about the music. Worth a try though. I think it was about that. I just know some of these games like to do those sort of things, but I remember that had a juicer hat in here. So, a juicer Oh, hat. cucumber of revelation, reveal your wisdom to me. Oh, these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. <laughs> See? As good as new. <laughs> I see. Ingenious. I just have to convince this tin can to wear the glasses, and then, um, whatever. Something really clever. So if I pick Welcome these up, to you are how may I? Call these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness. Please explain. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look here? Just like I said. 
What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. See? As good as new. Stop acting cute. The glasses are broken. Excuse me. Where are you? I cannot see you at all. This indestructible high-end gadget is obstructing my view. What an overwhelming experience. Hello? Hello? Gah, that thing sure has some nerve. Right, if he can't see them, I can grab this thing, can't I? Uh -huh. Did you clear your throat? But you can't see what I'm doing. Or are the sunglasses broken? Certainly not. The sunglasses function perfectly. <laughs> Super. Dang it. Now that I have removed this fully functional item, may I politely inquire what you are doing over there? Well, I'm, I'm just uh, admiring your, your golden dragon of invisibility. It's really pretty. I hate you. Okay, so I can put it on. <laughs> it works. I'm invisible. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> ow. Okay, so I can steal this. Yeah, ouch. You couldn't see it, but I pulled off a really cool roll when I landed. Can I steal? Yeah, ouch! I mean, what? Unbelievable. Can I take these? Can I take Ow! these? Ow! Darn, this isn't so easy. Okay, so I... I've taken everything I need, I think, so let's leave. <laughs> I sure fooled. Okay, so I can go to Little Venice now. Go up here. Huh? Where did my golden dragon of invisibility go? I must have lost it somewhere. I knew I could break them. People just... Can I put them on there? <laughs> huh. Let's see how well he can see me now. Okay, so there's a curtain. Wait a minute. There's a little sign here. No dogs allowed. And underneath is a cute puppy who isn't a member of unorganized crime. Normally, I ignore any sort of warning sign. But hey, that puppy is really cute. Wait a minute. No dog. And under normally. But hey. Whatever may lie behind, I am ready for it. How do I? Whatever may lie. What? That's the door to the radio room. What? Oh, there's an outside. Well, looky here. If that isn't a radio station, what have we here? Slides of some sort. Probably the plans of unorganized crime. Let's see what those clowns are up to. Wait a minute. Nothing but scribbles. Somebody smeared finger paint on this. But that's... Hello? Wink, please come in. Uh-oh. There's a radio message coming in. Wink, answer me. Wait a minute. I know that Squeezes. voice. I bet it's Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station. Wink, are you going to pick up or not? This is Cletus. I mean, it must be Cletus. Of course, Gold's fiance. Well, ex fiance, actually. He appears to have survived the crash of the escape pod. But what has he got to do with unorganized crime? I better answer this. I'm great at imitating voices. He'll never catch on. I bet he catches on. Hello, Cletus. Wink. 
Is that you? Why are you talking so funny? I'm not talking funny. I sound exactly like Wink. A phonetically trained ear would hear that right away. Stop blabbering nonsense and get to the point. You know good and well that time is running out. Tell me. Have you been able to track down my fiancé? Ex-fiancé, you mean? I mean goal, my fiancé. Wait, I've got the picture you wanted. You can print it as a slide. And here's a picture of the cartridge that holds the ascension codes. Ascension codes? Uh -huh. That nincompoop is tough. He's not giving up. Excuse me? My income group's not enough for living it up. Well, that should be the least of your worries right now. Do you need any more materials? Um... Where are you, anyway? Why do you want to know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Why, I wonder. <clears throat> because of the hand... My answer would have been more plausible. I'm in an organ on blo directly on the cruiser route. To You'll find the coordinates on the next... Let me know in advance when your or the organon will see to it that your submersible never sees the surface again. Do you get that? Okay. So why do we need the ascension codes? What's the hurry? I'm sorry. But... I'm sorry, but we have to refuse this assignment. What? Did I hear you right? Do I really have to remind you what's at stake? Uh, yeah, maybe just a little. Oh. The last high boat will be leaving Deponia from Port of Fisco in a week. So if I don't have the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, I won't be able to get back to Elysium in time! Now that would be a disaster. You said it. Actually, I shouldn't be telling you any of this, but I'm doing so anyway, because I know about the importance of motivating underlings. For reasons that are really none of your business, I must tell the Council of Elders in Elysium that Deponia is uninhabited. An awful lot depends on that. Everything else is insignificant. <laughs> right. Ulysses, the Organon's prime controller, takes no risks. If my report doesn't reach Elysium in time, he will see to it that Deponia is indeed uninhabited. Say what? I mean, uh, <coughs> what did you say? The Organon has the means to turn the entire area around the Rust Red Sea into a desert. If I haven't got my hands on the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, they will drop a bomb from this blast tower. As a result, all life on Deponia would probably be extinguished. This slide provides the proof. But then you would be dead too. Oh, bravo. You're beginning to see why it's so important to me to get gold back. I hope you'll be sufficiently motivated now to find her. Cletus, out. Uh, just, just a moment. I, uh, 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 uh. What do I do now? If Cletus doesn't get the ascension, but if he does get them, all of the pony, I have to beat him to it somehow. Looks like it all the... In other words, on my charms. <laughs> it can't be so hard then. <laughs> Okay, so go back to the radio station. Hello. Oh. Rats. Do I have a little bit? I have the slides. That's okay. So can I get into this curtain? Wait a minute. No, and not normal. But why can I not get in there? Whatever may I. There's a button down here. The kitty. Kitty! Oh, how cute! So they want some fish. <laughs> Shaving the house cat of a criminal syndicate would be oh, really yeah. extreme. So extreme that they would be guaranteed to make me an honorary member. Well then, let's do it. Huh? What's this? This is stuff. Then where's the real kitty? Ah oh, well, who cares? Uh-oh. That's not good. Run, Rufus. What have you done? The boss really isn't gonna like that. We'll see. Boss! Boss! Here comes the boss. How's my hair? <laughs> what a question. Perfect as always. What? Who? What's all this about? I mean, where's the boss? Somewhere behind this mad woman? <laughs> I caught an intruder. Oops! Aw, oh, poor kitty. Good kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. This little dipshit shaved kitty. What do you want us to do with it? 
My thoughts exactly. Uh... But she's only twitching. Th this lady suffers from ticks. <laughs> well done. Now you've really ticked her off. So, any last words? I want to make Donna an offer. <laughs> All right. Donna's listening. I could get you the cartridges with the Ascension codes. <laughs> Donna says no. No? What are your plans for me, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> right. I have another Hello. offer to make. <laughs> All right. Donna's listening. I could join you. <laughs> Donna says no. Mercy! <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, what did she say? Isn't that obvious? That I'm being pardoned? <laughs> what? I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Got me there. I have another. <laughs> <laughs> right. Will you please tell me now what that winking means? <laughs> that I'm being. <laughs> what? I'm being. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have another. <laughs> <laughs> I have another. <laughs> All right. I'll give you money, a lot of money. <laughs> Donna's. What can I actually say? What are your plans? <laughs> <laughs> Will you play? <laughs> that I'll be made into shark food? <laughs> Bro. Yippee! Oh. Go ahead. A quick and painful death is better than having to endure this farce any longer. <laughs> Donna says no. What, I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> now you have me confused. Are you being serious or not? <laughs> huh, she nodded. Did you see that? Yeah, but I can hardly believe it. Apparently, that means that you are now one of us. Congratulations, uh... Rufus. Rufus, right. There's not many that make it, two so far. How did that happen? Wow, so, um, so we're now part of the, uh, unorganized crime. Uh, they now Finally, have... my own tournament hand. And I now have that pack, so, uh, it's a way to get out. So I think that's where we will end it for today, guys. Uh, we have quite a lot more things to do in the next episode, so I hope you did like this. Uh, if you did, then please hit that like button. And if you want to see more, then please do subscribe. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye.